Emotional disengagement, whether at work or in a personal relationship, can have dire consequences. In my blog on disengagement and quiet quitting, I discuss various reasons why people might enter a place of disengagement. However, there's many perks into being connected again and re-energizing seemingly dead relationships. Not only is it good for your physical and emotional health, but you will be happier, more fulfilled, and by making other people or relationships feeling more valued, you will find more meaning in it as well. So I want to share a simple acronym, PERKS, with you in terms of tips of how you can re-energize your connections, whether at work or in your personal life. The first is to be present. When you're spending time with something or someone, do not multitask. Do not sit and browse on your phone. Try to remain present in the current conversation and not fret about the past or thinking up old resentments that you might bring into this conversation or even worry about tomorrow. But really being mindful of where you are at the moment and connecting. The second thing is to have empathy. Have empathy with yourself, but also have empathy with the other person on the other side, with their vulnerabilities, with their fears, with their irritating little habits, but have empathy with the situation as well and with your boss. It's not always easy being in that leadership role and there might be other things in the system that you're not aware of. The same goes for your partner and you would want them to have empathy with you as well. You are also not perfect. The third one is really to reconnect purposefully. Make time for fun activities, make time for shared activities, even if it's cleaning the house together. But really engage in spending time. Quality time is a key ingredient of any relationship. The fourth thing is to communicate. And communication has more to do with listening than talking. It has more to do with really hearing the other person and listening them out without answering with what is in your head. Listening to understand and then to communicate clearly and clarifying if something is unclear and also engage in adult, mature conflict resolution. Not throwing your toys, but really treading through the difficult situation and conversations as well. And lastly, to create a safe space, a safety net. And even if trust was broken, if there is emotional safety in a conversation, in a relationship, we can build trust again. Also, if this is at your workplace where you feel that you are unsafe, vulnerable and exposed. But if you have these conversations, if you use these perks, you can re-energize this engagement and these relationships and feel more fulfilled.